now give the floor to the International Organization for the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination. The floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Vice President. We welcome the effort of the Working Group on the Universal Periodic Review on Jordan and appreciate the progress made by the Jordanian governments in law, practice and policy relating to human rights, which reflect a positive will. We hope we will continue to safeguard human dignity and fundamental freedoms. Despite the official efforts made to advance the human rights situation, there are still a number of challenges that hinder program in this area, and in particular, the rights of women. Every year, about 15 to 20 women still face a crime by a male family member in the domain of contravening social norm or honor, and penal code still allow reduced sentences for those who murder their spouses when discovered committing adultery. Right to the fundamental freedom and the right to participate in public and political life, the government restriction on connectivity and the passage of law that chills freedom of expression rights online. For the above reasons, EFORD and Geneva International Center for Justice encouraged the Jordanian government to continue working on the effective implementation of the Comprehensive National Human Rights Plan until 2025 with the broad participation of civil society. Strengthened programs is aimed at building capacity for judges, prosecutors, lawyers and officials responsible for compliance with the law in application of the standards of international organizations relating to women's rights. Provides shelter services and protection to vulnerable women threatened with honor crimes instead of protecting imprisonment. Thank you.